Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you are already subscribed, welcome back. My name is Sierra and in today's video, we are stuffing my second paycheck from October. So I have the money right here in my bank bag as always and we will go ahead and unstuff it and set it up. Um, so today is Friday. I'm filming this video a little bit later in the day because I did have to um, work today, which normally I don't work Fridays. But I told you guys I got a promotion and I'm training for a new position. So my schedule is switched up for the next month. Um, so that's why this video is going to be up a little bit later in the day. But I hope you guys are all having a great start to your weekend. I'm super excited for my weekend because I'm actually going to Atlantic City. So um, me and my boyfriend are going to Atlantic City to celebrate our five-year anniversary, which I'm very excited for. Um, I actually plan this whole trip. So usually for our anniversaries, it's like he does everything, you know, surprise, flowers, all that. The girl, you know, gets the whole shebang. But this time we're doing things a little bit differently. So I was like, you know what? Let me plan this trip. It was kind of like a last minute decision, but I really just wanted to do something nice for him because he is always going above and beyond for me. So um, I plan this whole weekend trip. I'm so excited. And so we're going to go to um, the hotel. The hotel has like a jacuzzi and like I just have all that type of stuff planned. And then we're going to go to Ruth Chris for dinner. We're going to get massages. And then um, there's a couple other things that we're going to be doing um, for our little vacation. But I'm excited because we just haven't been out together in a while. And like something like that, like without the kids. So It'll be fun. Um, totally didn't budget for it, didn't like plan for it in any way, but it's fine. I told you guys already my whole situation with like my money and my checking account. You guys know I have Etsy income. I also have YouTube paychecks that have just built up and continue to build up. So I just leave that money in my checking account. There's a couple thousand dollars in there and it's not really going to make a dent in my pocket. So it was fine for me to go ahead and do that. So that is what we're doing um but yeah we will go ahead and get started with the cash stuffing um oh also i just want to let you guys know i did take a little break on my etsy i feel like i just opened it but i'm taking a break just because i just need to catch up on all the orders that i have currently and then i'll be reopening it so it'll be just like a week or so i just don't want to overwhelm myself this time because your girl was struggling last time um but yeah so we'll go ahead and get started with the cash stuffing and um you guys know i always start off with my cash envelopes so we are going to stuff myself first <laughs> that sounded kind of weird stuff myself first um so i am getting uh, let's see twenty dollars this week so twenty dollars in my envelope and you guys i do have some um like fun videos coming i'm going to be doing like a condensing video um, I'm going to be doing like a credit card and like credit score tip video. Um, I also have some other stuff coming out this month. So stay tuned for that. Should be up pretty shortly because I feel like this month is like almost over already. But that's okay. I'm going to get them all done like I always do. So um, next is for gas. Alright, so gas this week is getting 60, so a 50 and then a 10. Next is for Starbucks, and Starbucks is actually just getting $10 this week. I haven't been going to Starbucks as much as I normally do just because I saw this video like a couple weeks ago on how much sugar and like bad stuff is actually in Starbucks drinks. So I've been just trying to like stay away as much as possible, even though it is really hard. Um, next is for my kids, and they are just getting their normal $20. Next is for eating out. Eating out, I am stuffing $100 in. And um, I'm stuffing $100 because I told you guys we're going away for the weekend. So I'm just making sure I have money in there to, you know, cover our food. Um, well, a portion of it. So this is like completely off topic, but I just want to know what you guys think about this. So I have been seeing on TikTok a lot where girls are like, if my man doesn't pay the bill, like I'm not that's it i'm not going with him like i'm not like my man better pay the bill like i've been seeing a lot of stuff on tiktok like that like where girls think that the man is just supposed to pay for everything all the time and just buy them tons of things and i just like sometimes i want to comment and but i'm just like whatever i'm not even gonna waste my time but i just want to know what you guys think about that like do you think the man should always pay for your food or do you think it's like 
okay to be even sometimes like my take on it is I just like I feel like people view money as like everything like money it comes before love it comes before like literally anything like I just I feel like people just view money in such a weird way like to where it's like you kind of forget about the actual person sometimes like they are human you know just because they don't have the same like body part down there as you you know what I mean like I just feel like it's weird that some women and girls actually think that like the man's supposed to pay for everything all the time I don't know anyway um next is for groceries and groceries is getting its normal sixty dollars all right um next is beauty and beauty is getting 50 i do want to get my nails done so i'm gonna just stop 50 in here in case i do decide to do that at some point this week and then last is household and it's not getting stuff this week because we just don't need anything so there's that um next we are going to move on to my long-term binder and oh that reminds me i do need to get some more um placeholders because it looks like i ran out and i had to use a sticky note because my kids did reach another thousand last week so i just didn't have any placeholders but that's okay um so this week aston is going to get fifty dollars so that gives him one thousand 2,000, 3,000, 4, and 50. So 4,050 dollars. I'm so happy with how my kids' savings is coming along. It just, like, that's one thing that makes me so happy is to just know that, you know, they'll be good in the future. All right, next is for Alea, and Alea is also getting 50 dollars. So she has the 1,000 to three, four, and then 50. So 4,050 for her as well. Next is for family time and family time is going to get $20 this week. All right, so that gives it one, two, three, four, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and 80. So 480 for family time. Next is for my Etsy shop, and Etsy this week is going to get $10. I can't wait to do that condensing video because these like envelopes are getting super thick. Um, but anyway, Etsy now has 50, 70, 90, 110, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 2, 10, and 20. So 220 for Etsy. Next is for vacation, and for vacation, it is going to get $50. Alright, so vacation now has 1, 2, 3, 4, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 50, and 70. So 970 for vacation, which means we're almost at a thousand, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm happy about that, but I feel like a thousand dollars being spent in Vegas really isn't that much, but whatever, we'll make it work. Um, so next is for student loans and student loans is getting $5. Told you guys already, even though we're supposed to get that student loan forgiveness, I'm still just stuffing this envelope. It just makes sense to me because, you know, I'll have some extra money at the end. Um, but student loans now has one, two, 10, 25, 30, 5, 40, 5, 50, 5, 65, 70, and five. So 275 for student loans. Next is going to be for investing and investing is going to get $10. And investing now has 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 1. So we did hit $100. Every time I hit 100, I take the money out and I invest in some sort of cryptocurrency. Um, my friend actually just sent me some information about a new thing. I didn't even get to read into it just yet, but I'm going to look into that and probably invest because it's supposed to be something that is really good. So um, once I look into that, I'll definitely share that with you guys. But next is for house and house this week is going to get $20. So house now has 1,000, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 50, 70, 90, 7, 10, 
30, 50, 70, 90, 8, 10, 30, 50, 70, 90, 9, 10, 30, and 40. So 1,940, and we are only 100 and some change away from hitting 35K in the house savings account. It actually has like 34,000 and some change in there, so... Um, we're about to hit another placeholder, which is super exciting. Um, but that is it for my long-term binder. And then we'll go ahead and move on to my short-term binder. All right. So first envelope in my short-term binder is going to be for Amazon. And Amazon this week is going to get $10. That puts Amazon at 20 40 60 81 20 30 40 and 50 so 150 for Amazon. I actually just won a $100 Amazon gift card, which is pretty cool because I do like Amazon um, and I've been wanting to like change up my setup a little bit. So I might just use that gift card to like revamp some of my stuff. I'm not really sure. Um, but anyway, moving on to shopping. So shopping this week is going to get $20. All right, so now it's 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 1. So $100 for shopping, which I actually, I, does anybody else just get the random urges to just want to go to Target? Like, I just, I don't, it's weird. Like, sometimes I'll just wake up and be like, I just want to go to Target so bad. Even if I, like, just went two days ago, like, I still just want to go. I'm like, they didn't get anything new, like, what do you even want to, like, I don't know why, but Target just makes me, like, so happy. I don't know what it is. But anyway, I'll probably go to Target and use some money out of here. Um, moving on to clothes. So, clothes is going to get $20 as well. All right. So, clothes now has 51, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, and 70. So, 270 for clothes. Moving on to birthdays. So birthdays, I'm just stuffing $10 this week. And birthdays now has 1, 50, 70, 90, 2, 10, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 5, and 3. So 300 for birthdays, right? All right, next is for car maintenance, and car maintenance is getting $5 this week. So it now has 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. So $30, you guys know I just use this envelope for my car wash membership that I pay once a month. Um, next is for Christmas, and Christmas is going to get $20. I can't believe Christmas is only in two months. Like, it's kind of crazy. All right, so Christmas now has 1, 2, 3, 50, 70, 90, 4, 10, 30, 50, 70, 80, 95, 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. So 550 for Christmas. Next is for gifts, and actually gifts I'm not stuffing, so scratch that. Um, moving on to giveaway. So giveaway is going to get $5 today. And giveaway now is 50, 70, 90, 1, 10, 20, 5, 30, 5, 40, 5, 50, and 5. So 155 for giveaway. That is it for my cash envelopes. And then we'll move on to our challenges. So this week is week 41, and it is getting $125. We're just like speeding through these weeks here. All right, so that puts our 52 week savings challenge at 1,000, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 50, 70, 90, 6, 10, 15, 20, and 5. So $7,625 for 52 week savings challenge. And then the last envelope we're going to be stuffing is for my Disney vacation. And this week, it is going to get 
All right, so that puts Disney at 1, 52, 53, 50, 70, 90, 4, 10, 30, 50, 70, 90, 5, 10, 30, 50, 70, 90, 6, 10, 30, 50, 70, 90, 7, 10, 30, 50, 70, 80, 90, and 8. So $800 for Disney. And that wraps up my cash stuffing for this week, you guys. Um, I did just want to touch base on something. So a lot of people will Snapchat me and ask me questions. And one of the questions that I got asked is, do I use only cash? Like, do I only use cash? Hold on, I have to fix this. It's bothering me. Um, do I use only cash like throughout the week? Like, is this all the money that I use? Things like that. The answer is yes. So these envelopes, I do use majority of the time all that cash out of them. Um, I do use pretty much a cash, all cash budget. Now, how do I put this? So like when I first started cash stuffing, I didn't go over budget. I didn't like I literally stuck to my budget to the T. Um, now that I have a little bit more money saved and, you know, a checking account that is consistently growing, I guess you could say, um, I do sometimes spend money out of my checking account, but I feel like I have a lot of discipline, so I know, like, what is okay and what's not. So, to answer that question, yes, I do use all cash, like, all of this stuff is legit cash these envelopes i do use them sometimes i do go over budget and use money out of like my checking account but that's just because i have the room to now at this point so um i just wanted to answer that question because i do get asked a lot like do you only use cash so that's the answer to that um but yeah that is pretty much it for today's cash stuffing you guys i hope you guys did enjoy the video i have to run and take my son to get his hair cut really quick and then we are leaving for Atlantic City so I'm excited for the weekend to come if you guys do follow me on snapchat I will post pictures so you will see um you know some of the stuff that we're doing and I also before I end this video just want to say thank you guys all so much for the new subscribers people who are joining and of course the OG subscribers who are always here watching my videos and leaving me nice comments I appreciate you guys so much and we are almost at 12,000 subscribers, which is mind-blowing. And I can't wait to do that giveaway because you guys know I love giving back and doing fun giveaways. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. Um, you guys have a great weekend. Be safe. Have fun. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.